Greetings everyone and welcome to back to another Let's Play of Grandia 1 for the PlayStation 1. This is T260. Uh, last time we were here we were about to enter the mines to take a trial from Java the Adventurer. And uh, if we succeed in this trial, which is to clear out the boss monster inside the mine, then we will finally get his shipping pass and be able to sail across the ocean to the new continent. So that is where we are currently at. No, of course I haven't defeated him yet. You dumbass. All right, now that I've rested, we should be all good to go. Like most places in Grandia 1, it's easy to get lost in here, but you kind of have to explore a little bit in order to make certain that you don't miss anything. It's easy to miss something in this game. See, like right there. What is that? Work claw. I have no idea who that would benefit, but let's just carry it. I'm pretty certain what I got right now is better than that. Ooh, money. And more money. Now the arrow says we're supposed to go that way, so for exploring purposes, we're going to go this way again for a little bit. Uh, I think we got ambushed. Yeah, yeah we did. Fight works no less. Ow. Well, at least I managed to stop what they were doing initially, so that's nice. All right, we won. All right, victory is ours. Oh, I got a lot of money for that one. significantly defense would only increase a little bit so we are not going to go with the rubber boot all right we shall now continue onward I'd usually be fighting more monsters in here but based on uh, the first boss that rock bird I should be a pretty good level, pretty decent level with pretty decent equipment, so leveling and uh, preparing for the boss in here probably will not be much of an issue at the moment. I could be wrong though. I could go across the little bridge thing, but I'm gonna try... Yeah, okay, let's go across the bridge. If the compass wants me to go that way, I will go this way. Trying to be very careful not to fall off. Aha! There was something over here. Alright. Well, we're hunting for a boss monster, and after we find and defeat him, we should finally have that steamer pass and be able to go to the new continent. I don't know what Justin's going to do once he gets there, because we haven't really been given uh, too much information other than go to the new continent. And that the spirit stone would guide him or some shit like that. Maybe it'll glow in the direction we're supposed to go. It likes to glow a whole lot, I've noticed this. 
God damn it, bats, go away. Ooh, a bottle. Wound cell. up here. Yes, there is. See, in the first area that I was leveling, you didn't get to see any of this. Now you can see that, you know, there's usually a lot of stuff lying around. And uh, if you can rotate the camera and really explore a little bit, you'll probably find some decent stuff. If nothing else, stuff that you can sell for money later. The equipment is really nice in this game, but it is by no means cheap. It usually requires a decent amount of money, which is usually obtained through doing some leveling. What a cinch! Right now we're getting a pretty good amount of money per monster, but I'm... Like I said, I'm trying not to fight too many monsters, because one, it gets boring for you guys. And two, I think we're already a pretty decent level for this area. So if it's uh, abs not absolutely necessary, there's not too much point in it. Another thing is that uh, every time I've ever played this, I believe that the game uh, scales with you. Oh, there's an item over there. Uh, in difficulty, so the stronger Justin is, I believe the stronger the enemies slowly become. So if everything is good right now, then there's no reason to uh, level too much, because if I do, then I believe the monsters will get stronger than expected. And uh, the equipment does, is pretty much standard. Every time you go to a new area, the equipment is slightly better. But if the monsters are significantly harder because you're a higher level, then it doesn't quite even out the way you'd hope. And that can be a real pain. Alright, what is this? Okay, shield. So it's not like great, it's not good, eh, it's okay. Alright, well, let's see if Justin can make use of that. Got light gloves. Yep. The shield is a little bit better for Justin. Damn bats, I hate you. It takes one hit to kill them. Why do they come to me for death? Look, they can't even hurt Justin. Well, they can hurt Sue, but everything can hurt Sue. Yes, yes, yes. Victory is ours. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, let's move it. I'm trying to find the boss monster here. Basically, I'm trying to follow the compass, and the compass says to go that way. Ooh, recover. Very nice. And we get a new hint. What is the hint? How to learn killer moves. Okay, that's basically the skills I went over earlier. You know, depending on what weapons you use, skills, that sort of thing. So, that was pretty much already self-explanatory. And here's some money. And this looks like the place. Well, didn't do any leveling, so let's hope this works out. Ooh, it's the orc. Well, I'm going to have him attack the Orc King, and I think I'm going to have Sue try to take on the regular Orcs for now. Come on, puppy, take that sucker out. Drat, he's still 
going? B slash again, Justin. B slash. All right, that hurt, but it didn't do too much damage. And drat, not enough to do another V slash. Let's have some fun. Let's try the grenade out here. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's try it on the regular one. So you use puppy kick on that one. Uh, looks like I got the grenade off just before the Orc King managed to smack Justin. But he only managed to do 8 damage to Justin, so I'm not all that worried. Let's finish off that one. Let's have her do her final puppy kick. At some point I will have her do the, uh, the healing rah-rah ability, but so far there's no real reason to heal yet, so, you know, why bother? Oh, he got Justin good that time. Alright, this should finish him off. Yep. Take that, you bastard. Alright! Big win for us! We have defeated the Orc King. That'll teach him to live in a cave away from society. Why is the ground shaking? Shit! We can't leave without stuff. Now, I know the place is falling apart, but you see the sparkly bread over here? That means it's like a super special item. Usually something that will increase stats by one. Yep, that's a defense seed. Very nice. If you've ever seen one of those, I highly recommend grabbing them. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Gotta grab the money and go, gotta grab the money and go. I got a lot of ground to cover here. Come on, move it. Alright everybody, well, we're coming up on the 15 minute mark, so we're gonna have to call it quits here. Let you know how it goes. See you next time.